Hello YouTube, it's Rusty here, and today I'm going to be doing a video comparison between the Nikon D3300 and the Sony HDR6240. But before we get into the actual comparison between these cameras, we have to go over the specs. Now these two cameras are extremely different. The Nikon D3300 is a full-fledged DSLR, while the Sony HDR6240 is just an affordable video camera. The Sony HDR6240 has a 3.1mm Exmor R CMOS sensor, while the Nikon D3300 has a 23.2mm CMOS APS-C size sensor. Despite having a smaller sensor, the HDR6240 does have some features on the camera itself that make it better at video than the D3300, like a rotating LCD screen, a built-in lens cap, the way you hold the camera feels more comfortable and, and just when you're holding it for long periods of time it is more comfortable to hold than the D3300 and also the record button is right at your thumb so you're never really out of reach of the record button and you also have all your buttons and dials right there for you ready to control when you want to. Even though the Nikon D3300 was built from the bottom up to be a stills camera, it can do some pretty nice video. It does have um, the video capabilities that a normal camera have. It can do 1080p60. In some places, it also does better than the Sony. It has interchangeable lenses, therefore giving you more expansion to, you know, experiment with different lenses and stuff like that to give you different film looks. You also have all those focus rings and stuff like that, which is very convenient so you don't have to go in the buttons and menus and dials and stuff like that. Just have them right there when you need them. But this specific model does not have a rotating LCD screen, which is unfortunate, but other models do, like the Canon T5i, it does have a rotating LCD screen. It really does help, but it's not a requirement. This also has an in-mic jack for external microphones, unlike the Sony. Now you do get certain camcorders with a mic jack, that specific one doesn't have one, but you can get one. And it also doesn't have a hot shoe, so you couldn't not unmic in the first place. And when you autofocus on this camera, it does make a bit of a noise. So if you want a quieter experience, you're gonna have to switch to manual. Now let's get to the video comparison. Guys, I think the D3300 one, mainly because of its bigger sensor, its bigger sensor makes it much less grainy than the Sony. I mean, 3.1 millimeters compared to 23.2, I mean, that's big, big margin. And the Sony did win in the zoom test, but that's also just because it, that's also just because the Nikon didn't, this is also, um, this is also just because the Nikon didn't have the best lens. I mean, it's only the, um, standard, you know, 18 to 55 millimeter, um, f3.5 to 5.6 DX VR lens. I mean, you could get a much bigger zoom lens and it could do much better in zooming, even better than the Sony, although Sony does have incredible zoom for what you're getting. But this is just the basic lens with the Nikon. But also, if you want basicness, the Sony stuff, I mean, it did take me my fair share of time to learn this thing, but I got used to it pretty easily from the thousands of videos I watched before this thing. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.